Hello, it's a beautiful day in the mortgage world. That's what I do, that's what I breathe, that's what I eat, that's all I know, and I'm here to help you get your first rental property. Hi, this is Jody from Great American Mortgage, and all I do is mortgages. And uh, as I was trying to prepare for this video, I was trying to get an idea of uh, what other people are doing, and man, it's a bunch of BS, to, to put it nicely. They're just, it's clickbait, or I don't know, they have some type of multi-level marketing scam or whatnot, but there's no way you can buy a house or a rental property or any type of property without any money. There's just not, and I've been doing this long enough. If there was a way, I would know it because I make money. I mean, if I could do it without you having to have money, I would make a lot more money. It's not possible. In fact, you need a lot of money. You don't need just a little bit of money. You need 15 to 20%, generally 20% of the property value to buy a house. So if you don't have the money, the first thing you need is money. Save it up. You need 20% maybe 15 if you're lucky. So let's say it's $300,000, you need 60 grand. If you're lucky, you do 15%. There are some companies that will do 15% depending on your credit. The other thing is credit. Number two, credit. You must have a decent credit score. Well, there are some of those bend you over companies that will do it for like 30% down and like 10% interest, like eighth is capital. You can get, the, it's possible, but you need money. So if you have money, money is king, right? So you have to have credit, generally about a 720 score or higher. A 680 might work. I mean, 620 maybe, you know, but it's very difficult. The third thing you need is you need to contact a loan officer. You need somebody like me to tell you whether you're approved or not because otherwise you're not gonna get the money you need unless you have cash. Then you don't need me. Then you just go find yourself a realtor that knows about real estate and the investment world, right? But most of us need money. So you contact the loan officer or broker and we will see what you qualify for. And there's many options for investment properties. The best option is to go through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, your general conventional loan, 20% down, you have good credit, you get a lower interest rate, you get the 30 year fixed, it's a lower payment, you make more on your rental property, that's the way to go if you can. If you can't go that way, let's say that you're a business owner and you don't really show all your income, we can't go that direction so we can do a no income loan, right? Or let's say even your W-2 and you work at McDonald's, you make $12 an hour, there's no way you're going to qualify for a home. But you can do the no income route. The no income route qualifies you based on the place that you're buying. So we look at that place, we see how much it's going to rent for, and if it covers the mortgage, we'll approve you without income. You need 20% down, you need decent credit, 680 or so 720 is better. If you have a 620 score, try 8th as capital, but you need about 30, 35%, 40% down. And there's other companies too. And it's a high interest rate, but it's a way to get in. Uh, there's also hard money lenders, but those are short-term loans and you'll lose your butt. Just, I wouldn't do it. All right, so the next thing you need to do. Before I get to the fourth step, let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm a loan officer. I do mortgages. I'm not a talking head. I'm not an actor. I'm not someone on these videos that have millions of views. I don't make my money by YouTube clicks. I make my money by doing loans, by closing loans. And uh, one of my main components to closing loans are my realtors. My realtors bring me business. They send me their clients because I can close your loan. I know what I'm doing. So I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story. A lot of my realtors tell me, Jody, you're extremely negative. You're, yeah, we, can you be a little more positive? But the fact is in my world, you either are approved or you're not approved. Either you've got good credit and you got money or you don't. That's really the two components you need. And you need assets. You got to have money, right? Like step number one. If you don't have those things, then you're not going to get approved. So this leads me into the fourth step. The fourth step is you got to find a realtor, find an investment realtor, not some new person, not someone who just does primary residences. You want to find someone that actually does investment properties. Hopefully they have investment properties of their own. I work with one realtor and she has about 25 investment properties. She's extremely experienced in this area. That's what you, I mean, it take, take your time. Look for someone who actually knows the investment world because they need to guide you on what to buy, what's going to be profitable and also steer you away from the scams. I've, I can't tell you how many people have lost all their money because they get into these flipping houses scams and they can't do it, right? Because you don't build houses or maybe you do, but most of us don't build houses. So you buy 
buy a house, it needs paint. You got to hire a painter and they're going to charge you five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, who knows? And who knows how long it's going to take them. So you got the time factor, you got the cost factor. And then you, the kitchen needs to be redone. The plumbing needs to be redone. The roof has to be redone. In fact, my mom just redid her roof. You know how much it costs? $30,000. There goes your profit. So you buy a house to flip. Before you know it, you're underwater. Or maybe you're not underwater, but you run out of time. You've gotten this crazy hard money loan. The money is due today. You don't have the money. The painter is still painting. He's nowhere close to being done, and everything crashes. So an investment realtor is extremely important to help you avoid some pitfalls because there's a lot of pitfalls out there. There's a lot of people who make money off of you. And on the, the fifth step, is getting under contract. So once the, you find the place, you guys decide what's best for you. You go under contract. That contract comes to me. Your loan process starts. And the most important thing is always send us everything we need immediately. If you're fast, we'll close that loan on time. The worst thing that can happen is we don't close on time. You go beyond your contract. You lose your earnest money. We don't close. You don't get your house. No good. Thank you. Have a great day. It was nice to see you again. Like my video, join my channel, and we'll see you next time.